Welcome to General Biology. Today's presentation is going to be on the similarities and differences between plant and animal cells. You can see there's a lot of similarities between animal and plant cells. There's a nucleus in an animal cell, also found in plant cells. There's an ER surrounding the nucleus, a rough ER just outside the nucleus and smooth ER as we get further from the nucleus. Same thing in, animal, or in plant cells. You have a Golgi for processing and packaging proteins. You see the same thing in plant cells. You have mitochondria used to convert sugar into ATP, which is usable energy. You have the same thing in plant cells. You also have a cell membrane surrounding the animal cell. There's a cell membrane surrounding plant cells as well. It's just difficult to see because it's right below the cell wall. The reason we think all these similarities are here is because at one point, plants and animals had a common ancestor. And as they branched off, they retained a lot of the same organelles that they had in those original cells prior to splitting apart. There are a few organelles that are unique to animal cells and plant cells. In animal cells, we have centrioles, which are involved in the process of mitosis when we start uh, splitting up the DNA and forming two nuclei inside of a cell. And you see a lot of vacuoles and vesicles in uh, animal cells. We don't have as much endocytosis going on in plant cells, and so we don't have as many vesicles and vacuoles. There's a large central vacuole, but that serves a different purpose. But you don't have a lot of vesicles and vacuoles full of things that have been taken in by the cell. In a plant cell, there are a few uh, unique characteristics. One is they have a large central vacuole. This is used for storing water. Plants don't know when their next drink is going to come. And so they have to take advantage of storing as much water as possible every time it rains. And so they have a central vacuole that can sometimes take up as much as 80% of the cell space as it fills with water. Uh, and it's used for storing water long term because it might not rain for two weeks. It might rain tomorrow. It might not rain for two weeks. So who knows? So plants have to store water uh, for the long term. Animals don't because they can just walk up to a stream and get a drink. Plants also have chloroplasts which are the organelles that are going to be involved in turning sunlight into sugar. So they're going to run the process of photosynthesis inside these organelles. And for structural purposes, plants have cell walls. Cell walls, when we put a whole bunch of cell walls together, form wood. And wood is the structural component in a plant that allows it to stand tall and reach to the sun.